Tonight, federal investigators looking into the deadly bridge collapse at FIU confirm a flawed design is to blame for that disaster that killed six people. The National Transportation Safety Board held a hearing on the matter today, and our D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo was there. Ross. And Calvin, that design flaw was just the beginning of it. The design review failed, as well as the um, oversight on all of this. That failed, too, and FIU was part of that. Why didn't FIU act on the warning signs? Uh, FIU was uh, continually and repeatedly told that the cracks were not a serious. FIU and President Mark Rosenberg in front of the NTSB as it revealed the university was part of a massive oversight failure. I think there were failures at all, the, at all levels. Those failures including a flawed design from the primary engineers, a flawed peer review that didn't catch the problems, and an overall inability to see the obvious cracks and signs of imminent failure. A very complex situation. But it really boils down to those three points. These cracks continue to grow over those the cracks year. growing right here in this corner and were visible by the crews installing the span. In fact, they were working on this very area just moments before the collapse, making it worse. Southwest 8th Street was never closed, as the NTSB now says it should have been. All parties had implied authority to close the bridge and, and did not act on that authority. Those primary parties were FDOT and FIU. A greater involvement by them would have, would have improved or lessened the risk. Agreed. And was FIU aware of the cracking? Yes, they were. But neither stopped construction and neither stopped the traffic underneath the span. Bottom line, you don't believe you have any responsibility then? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we followed every rule and regulation that, uh, that FDOT has. But the NTSB making it clear beyond rules and regulations, there is always responsibility. Absolutely. And they certainly had the responsibility in the decision to, uh, to close the road, and several people fell down on that decision. Well, tonight, FIU says that they are working hard to make sure this never happens again. The NTSB saying that they are working as well. They've come out with 11 new safety regulations, and Calvin and Nicole, almost half of those five are for FDOT alone.